Hey guys, welcome to KK Java Tutorials. In this video tutorial, I am going to talk about the sequence in Oracle. So first of all, let's try to understand what is sequence and uh, why we need to use uh, sequence in Oracle. Yeah. So this is the uh, simple definition. Sequence is a database object used to generate series of unique integers for use as primary keys. When an application inserts a new row into a table, the application simply requests a database sequence to provide the next available value in the sequence for the new row. Multiple users can use same sequence. Right? So from definition, I think it is very much clear. Sequence is nothing but the, uh, it's, a, it's a database object which helps us to create the unique integer right, in sequential order. So that we can make uh, that uh, sequence as a uh, sequence generated number as a primary key in our table right and once, once you create the sequence that can be used by the multiple users right that's the advantage now when we talk about the creating creating a sequence this is the general syntax of uh, basically creating a sequence here you will have to write the create then sequence then sequence name you have to specify then increment by and start with so here let's try to understand everything so create this is a, just a keyword we want to create a sequence so we have to write, to write the sequence then here sequence name is nothing but the name of the sequence object to be created then here you have to give the increment by right so here in increment by specifies the incremental value which means sequence numbers this value can be positive or negative but it cannot be zero if this value is negative then the sequence is created in the descending order if increment is positive then sequence is created in ascending order if we omit this clause the interval default to one right and start with from from which number you want to start the basically your uh, sequence let's say i specify 2500 so sequence will be started from 2500 and if i specify increment by one then uh, next would be 252501 something like that right uh, I always this will increase increase by one now there are some key points always you will have to keep in mind when you want to use a created sequence first of all a sequence can be used with the database operations it is used with the insert or update dml commands right now next sequence provide two attributes for using the value generated uh, in, sync, in sequence right these attributes are curr vl means current val and next val right their use is as follows uh, let's say if you want to use current value, if you want to see the what is the current value of sequence, then sequence name dot cur value. This returns the current value in the sequence. If you want to see the next value, or if you want to get the next value, then sequence name dot next value val. This increment the current value value in the sequence and return 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 us right. So let's try to understand through an example. So here uh, I have to create a sequence. Once you create the sequence, then here you can see a. Uh, directory somewhere sequence right uh, here if you check here sequence right so sequence will be uh, once you create the sequence then you see this directory will be populated with that sequence so i'm going to sequence. so i'll write a create so create then sequence sequence then you have to give the sequence name so i'm writing emp underscore seq that sequence name and then we have to write increment by right so I write increment by one and then I'll write a start with right start with I'm going to write two five zero zero so sequence is going to start uh, with uh, two five zero zero uh, I don't know why this is uh, oh sorry, sorry increment by we have to write sorry increment by so in, uh, when we call first time this sequence then this will return two five zero zero when you call second time then this will uh, return as 2501 something like that uh, always it will increment by one now let's create it so now sequence is created if i refresh my connection then here you say uh, this uh, sequence is created now how to make use of this sequence to make use of this sequence basically i am going to insert few records in this employee table right so i am going to sorry i am going to uh, generate a basically insert query oh, oh, oh. So let's say generate insert query. Insert query I'm going to generate. So this is the insert query. Now we will make use of this sequence, right? To insert 
to generate this employee number so here uh, basically this is the column name right and here these are the value we have to substitute right so now here let's say employee number i would like to generate for using this sequence so i would say uh, employee sequence dot uh, you have to write next value right next value right now second attribute represent name so name i'm going to specify let's say kk and next we have to give job let's say manager manager then what else after manager uh, we have a, ma a job a job after job we have a manager id right so let's say uh, 9201 i hope this would be there if you, i go in the here uh, uh, no, 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 this is not employee team, but I have to go in employee. And if you look in the data, then uh, 8, 9, let's say I'm going to this guy as a manager of KK. Right. Now, what else? After manager, you have to put the hire date, right? So, hire date today, this I'm going to specify. So, today is uh, 16 May 20, right? So, that I have, you have to specify in the single quote because this is a date. Now salary, salary I'm going to specify $4,000 then commission, commission just I'm going to specify null and finally department number, department number let's say 20, right? So here you can see how I'm using uh, basically this generator sequence to generate a employee number. Let's say uh, run this uh, query and here is the query result. So one row inserted if I go to the employee table that i refresh it then kk where is the kk here is the kk here you can see employee id 25 uh employee number 2500 is generated and this other records is generated inserted right now let's say i'm going to insert another record right so i'll keep this is as it is now i'm going to employee name as pk keep it manager there are some things i'm going to keep as it is right and if i run then second row will be generated, uh, second row will be inserted if I if I look at the PK here you can see next sequence number 250 and generated right so here you can see how this sequence is helping us to generate an employee number and beauty of this sequence is uh, this can be used by the multiple developer as well other developer also can use this uh, basically sequence in to, to, to insert uh, data into some other table right so now so we have discussed how to create sequence how to make use of sequence if you want to delete this sequence then we have a command is called drop sequence and then sequence name so simply sequence name you can specify so if you are the sequence is not any more needed then you can drop it the right saying that this is dropped if i refresh my connection then you'll see that sequence has been deleted right so that's all i have in this video tutorial guys i hope you join in this video guys big thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial.